How's it everybody? This life sciences last minute tips video is actually a repost. Um, I don't actually teach life sciences on the channel. So Goon is out of this one. Um, there's actually another tutor. She's absolutely amazing. And she's dropped the stunning last minute tips video for you guys. And she's also made like 90 plus videos about life science. And those videos, unfortunately, have not taken off at all literally like they haven't hit the surface so i'm gonna link that playlist in the description please feel free to click it and have a look please 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 we've invested so much time in these life sciences video life science videos but yeah it's a it's a massive playlist and all those questions are coming from matric final papers so it serves as ultimate preparation uh for this life sciences paper one that you're most likely writing tomorrow or in the morning if you're watching this like on the day of your exam okay cool uh, enjoy the video love you guys bye hi guys today we'll be looking at some life science paper one last minute tips so firstly let's just go through the breakdown of the paper and how it is composed so this is from the official government document guidelines document so there's four different categories category a being knowledge, like it's you either know it or you don't know it. It's straight information. That consists of 40% of the paper. Comprehension, meaning reading it and understanding what they want from you and then giving your answer, would be 25% of the paper. Application, being when they give you a scenario and they ask you to apply one of the concepts in order to give the results of the scenario, that's 25% of the paper. And D is analysis, synthesis, and evaluation. So basically, the level four questions. Anything that requires a little bit more of thinking and a little bit more than just your plain knowledge that you've studied. That would be 15% of the paper. So all in all, 30% of the paper should be easy for the average learner. 40% should be moderately challenging. So 30% would be level one and some level two questions. 40% should be moderately challenging. So this is mainly your harder level twos and level three questions. 25% will be difficult for the average learner, probably the harder level threes and a few level fours or the essay, like short essay questions. And very difficult will be mainly your four plus mark questions. And that's more or less the breakdown of the paper in terms of difficulty. Now let's look at the sections. In bio paper one, life science paper one, it consists of two sections. Section A, which would be short answer questions, your multiple choice, terminology questions, which give the term, and then the column, which are statements and matching the terms. You would have true or false, or A, B, or both A, B, and a and B or none. That would consist of 50 marks of the paper. We then get section B, which is a variety of different question types. There are two questions, 50 marks each, question two and question three. They are divided into a, sub, into a number of sub questions. So you will have question two and question three. Each one will be divided into a number of sub questions, such as 2.1, 2.2, 3.1, 3.2, each being a section in the paper. Now let's look at the topics. The topics in paper one include reproduction of vertebrates, which is animal reproduction, human reproduction, responding to the environment, humans and plants, and then endocrine system and homeostasis, each with an estimated amount of marks and a weighting. Now let's get in some, into some tips on how to tackle this paper. The first tip I would give you is during your reading time, to try and answer all the short answer questions in your head or start thinking of what the answers might be. Therefore, when, the t when they do say you can start, you can quickly fly through the whole of section A, giving you a lot more time to work on section B, as a lot of the questions require a quite a bit of writing. My second tip would then be to go through section B and identify which questions are four marks or more. These would be be your short essay questions and would require quite a bit of writing as they're usually long processes or short paragraphs that you need to write. My next tip is to definitely start with the content questions as when you get into the exam there's obviously a lot of questions and you are, you can tend to feel overwhelmed 
and may forget the information as the hours go on. Therefore, do all the questions that are content-based first. This means the questions that are not like extract-based or investigation questions, as those you do have to take into consideration the extract they give you and requires a bit more analysis, whereas the content questions are basically what you just studied. My fourth tip is then to check whether your paper has any graph questions. Because graphs, even though they might seem quite time consuming, it is usually a five to six mark question that is a lot of marks and they are easy marks. So I would recommend doing that after you attempt all the content questions. And then lastly, it's up to you to decide what order you want to do the questions in. In my opinion, I would do the shorter sections first. So in paper one, the shorter sections are like the human eye, the human ear, animal reproduction. Those are short sections and are easy marks. So if you can get those sections done first, you will have a lot more time for the longer sections, such as human reproduction and, and the nervous system. And lastly, but not least, you could have, att you could have done your longer questions, four plus marks, before you attempted the content questions, so therefore, here. Or you could do them after all the short sections. Either one is up to you. And my last tip is that you, well, it's not really a tip. It's more of a good to know. You do not have to do the paper in order. You can do the paper in, and write your answers in your answer booklet in any order that you like. You can go from question 2.1 to question 2.5 and then go to back to 2.3, go to 3.4. As long as you label your questions co correctly, it doesn't matter what order you do the paper in. And that's all the tips I have for paper one. Good luck for your paper. That's all for this video. Thank you.